Alrighty, yep, we, we've, we're dialed in. Hi guys, okay, this is, just to make it really clear to start out with, this Q&A is answering the questions from a post we made some time ago when we got to 100,000, and we recorded a video, and uh, my partner in crime here went on for a very long time in it, and it was like yeah. over an hour of recording to edit, and I thought, I can't do this. I, I, I cannot make my way through. Especially since it's so niche that um, uh, it would probably hurt the general uh, performance of the channel a little bit because YouTube uh, works on the basis of, oh, that one didn't yeah, so do so Yeah, so basically it would be like Ew. a huge amount of work for something that kind of hurts our chances on other videos. So I've come on here, a live stream, and I think like most of the time it's live stream guys would care yeah. about this sort of thing anyway i recognize most of these names from the live streams in the questions up here so um i will be answering some more at the end or if anybody really wants to donate to have their question answered but don't don't go ahead and do that because honestly your question whichever question you've got is probably going to come up anyway and someone else has asked it yeah don't don't go ahead and like jump the gun on that like wait until the end you, uh, you whatever question you were thinking of probably will get answered these cover a broad spectrum of topics yeah so don't, like, don't get too excited if you think oh no i don't see my question because there's quite a lot here hence it being an hour recording before mm. voice is so amazing thanks shadow hub uh thanks everybody else thank you kit the fennec kit that's so cute i wonder if you've been here before no it's his first dono thank you so much hello miss oh we're not it's not mrs badger this is miss badger. <laughs> no we are family not husband and wife thank you thank you scourge because i definitely do know how to say it good evening badgers viper wink Trying to pick up my girl Viper? I'll have He's you know they, they they ain't interested in you. Okay, let me try and find these questions. Okay. Out the other window. Okay. Okay, question to the owners besides just Sonic, did the owners grow up with other shows they loved or grew up with everyone's shows they loved and cared for? Nothing. I don't really understand that last part of the question, but basically I think they're asking Childhood shows. Childhood shows. I had so many. I think you've probably had fewer, so you answer yeah. first. Chowder comes to mind. Um later uh like preteens and early teens regular show was a huge one um i wasn't really like a kid when i watched steven universe but i did like that one spongebob obviously because digital viper is chowder because digital viper always knows everybody loves chowder come on um my shows god i've had so many um as a little little girl i won't count those like, preschool shows because no one's gonna care um, I liked the Justice League cartoon, not the Unlimited one, I never saw that one, the original Justice League one. I liked one Teen Titans, Kim Possible, Fairly Odd Parents, Spongebob, uh, Kim Possible, did I say that one? Yeah. Uh, Recess, I loved Recess, uh, Scooby-Doo, obviously, you loved Scooby-Doo. I loved Scooby-Doo, also Power Rangers for me. Yeah. Oh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Lizzie McGuire, That's So Raven, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, all of those, Keenan and Kel. I had a lot of television shows I watched. Ed, Ed and Eddie was not my thing, actually, Luffy Creed. That wasn't that wasn't my thing. I did like Child Once Again, wasn't my number one. When I got a bit older, I loved regular show. I was actually not a kid anymore yeah. so much when that was more popular. I mean, there's a favourites. Obviously, we did watch and see basically everything that was on Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network between a certain period of years yeah, bar a few things we actively all these things, didn't all these like. things i did actively follow and you know i also have disney channel shows that everyone forgot about was phil of the future i loved that one as well uh real blaze cat asks quest of you both planned your face reveal not in so no far plans. no but, plans i mean if anybody if there's enough interest maybe if people like oh, we really want to know what you badges look like by the end of the day we just couple badges Thank you, Dr. Eggman. Support SHB for life. Also, hi, Star Sims. Hi, Dr. Eggman. Hello, Thanks Eggman. so much. You deserve a little spanner, though. You're, you're, a, you're a babe, honestly. Oh, my God. Luffy Creed's talking about Keenan and Kel in there. Wait, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Keenan Where's... and Kel was amazing. I, I can't get off a Keenan and Kel t tangent. No, it was lower. We're lower? Yeah. Keenan and, and Kel. I love that. I freaking loved Keenan and Kel. They were brilliant. Great. They were brilliant. Uh, where did your love for the Sonic character in the franchise come from? Okay, I was aware of Sonic for a very, very long time. Your story's time. deeper than mine. Yeah, I was aware of Sonic for a very long time. Then, I kind of became more more actively aware of it, starting with getting a Wii in 2012 and playing the London Olympics games, the Sonic and Mario London Olympic game. You had to be there in 2012 to appreciate I, the huge deal that was in Especially because it, it was the London Olympics. Yeah, huge, huge deal. It was the, it was the thing. Uh, for me, it was when we first got a PlayStation 2, and don't think you remember this because you were just a baby. No. Uh, we upgraded from PlayStation... I'm so old, I had a PlayStation 1 as a little, little girl. 
and we got a PlayStation 2 and it was just mind blowing the upgrade and our first game on it was Sonic Heroes and it was just the brightness of the colors how clear everything looked I was so impressed I wasn't actually any good at playing it I just watched my other brother playing it um but yeah I, I remember the little booklet it came with with they the could character at least bios. have booklets with character bios and my first memory of that is the most important one is seeing that Amy's age was listed as 12 and I was so young at the time I was like I can't imagine being 12 that's so grown up and I'll never forget that's a core cool memory <laughs> thank you CC Tullez 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 it's, it's Turles Turles I don't know uh SWAT cats. I have no idea what no, that is. No clue. Thank you so much for the donation. Hi, Andrew. Thank you. Hey, you badgers. I have a green emerald. Nice to nice. meet you two again. You knows my friend Sarah Henderson is here. Oh my god, we finally Give get to Give her a it. hello, please, Hi, and thank Sarah you. Hi, Sarah and Andrew. Hello, Sarah and Andrew. God, if I had a pound for every time I said that. <laughs> it's iconic, though. Um... Right then. Yeah, and also I had like that crazy Sonic lore absorption phase between the ages of, like ten to twelve when I got super. Yeah, also I, I did like watching the Sonic X cartoon. That should go back to the other question. Mm. Digital Viper, you're so close to the Piss Emerald. You're like a month away from it, I think. It might be like three weeks now. I'm not sure. Um. Right. Question: What age you first started making this channel? Oh God, old. <sighs> it was last year. Uh, but was it? It was before my birthday last year, wasn't it? Yeah. It was February, so... It's February. Before both our birthdays last year. I must have been 25. Yeah, 20 and 25. Sounds like Rouge. Thank you so much, Amy. There's a weird reason for that. <laughs> weird, yeah, it's almost like it's secretly me. But yeah, she's pretty close to my natural pitch. What people voice the majority of the cast and what are some of their favourites? You're listening Two. to them. You're listening it's just to us. Um... Some of my favourites. Well, I mean, Rouge is my favourite. She is my girl. I mean, I've kind of hyped it up to a ridiculous degree on the Discord how much I love her. But yeah, I, I do think she's fantastic. I love mm. how outrageous she looks. And I, just, I love how I look at that character and I'm like, she looks absolutely outrageous. I love her. Um, and that was kind of as simple as that. So you yeah. can't you can't really take that away. You want, you want to play her too. You know you do. Oh, God, I would love it. I would love it. Not only because I would be uh, like one in a million for more than one in a million for being able to do a convincing uh, female voice that sounded like Rouge. <laughs> you could never mother. You didn't answer the question. That was your favorite too. Um. Ooh. In short bursts, I like doing um, Eggman actually. Uh, yeah, I know. Understandable. Understandable. Because he's so abrasive. Um. Hold on a second. I just want to say thank you so much, Salia, Saliha. I don't know. But thank you so much. Um, where are we? What is it like doing the voices of the Sonic cast and oh, creating man, stories? Oh man, it's so much fun. Epic. It is so much fun. Best job in the universe. Stand by that. If you could spend one day with Sonic character, who would you choose? And why Rouge? Uh, for the aforementioned reasons. Also, have you seen her? Uh, no. Yeah, I mean... I mother is mothering, and if you choose anybody else, you are just wrong. Rouge the Bat is the source of the most I'm not oh, a furry Omega. butts Oh, Thanks ever. so much, Omega. I love having you around, dude. You're so much fun. You're like one of the OGs. So Thank much fun you. to have around. Thank you so much for being the best Omega ever. What is, in your opinion, the absolute best Sonic game? Bonus, how much of the story from the stream is actually planned, or is it okay, all for, for, just Okay, one random? question. Sorry, one question. Yeah. Okay. okay, best Sonic game. The best Sonic game. Well, actually, best or my favorite? Because game design is like any other kind of art or entertainment. There are objective qualities about what's good and what's bad, and then there's just what you enjoy the most, regardless. Um, well, I mean, in, in a way, I kind of feel like the best one is so debatable, I'm just going to go with my subjective favorite and say Sonic Heroes, you know? Well, um, Andrew, thanks so much for the dono, but I don't understand what you're saying. That's what it sound like to you guys. We have no idea what you sound like. Nah, man. I literally have no idea what you sound like. I'm gonna so be real, Andrew. I don't, I don't even know, know like what. Where, where, what country you're from? I, I don't even know. I'm what assuming you're from. US is the money Probably there. Probably US, but we don't actually know that. It doesn't mean. And you're also, from don't there. know what region of the US either. No, I literally don't know. So I can't make fun of how you sound because I, I don't no. know. The game, uh, the Sonic game, I probably. Yes, got the most... I am British. Yes, thank you. Oh yeah. Sonic game I've got the most hours on would actually be Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing on the Wii. Okay, that's a deep cut. That's a deep cut. Uh, American so and Mexican. Hours. Okay, that's really cool, Andrew. Very nice. Very nice. Um, but actually, more recently, I played uh, tons and tons and tons of Shadow the Hedgehog. I actually really like that game. 
Uh, okay, next question. That's a really sweet little comment there. Thank you so much to whoever that was. I can't really tell from the handle always because oh, it yeah. always shows up. Also, like, how much of the stream story Oh, I planned. forgot about that. Oh, thank you, Zodiac Libra. Congrats on 100k. Uh, thanks, me, awesome. Thank you so thank much, you. Zodiac Libra. You're great. We love you. Um, Make it, man. Uh, Rouge actually is your mother. You're just in denial. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, how much the story of the stream is actually? Uh, okay, yeah. I basically have like a one paragraph, a short one at that. Yeah. Describing what's going to happen in the stream, and the rest of it is just how it comes to us. Like the one yesterday that went pretty differently to how I imagined it because yeah. I left that one. I didn't really do anything. I just put no. uh, man, it comes along and fancies Amy. And uh, man, it didn't kind of shake out acting the way I thought. Uh, that, yeah, that we'd even no, and Amy's, him to. Amy's reaction was not how I thought it would be. Sometimes these characters, they kind of just. It says sounds, sounds totally nuts, like I'm a complete nutter, and maybe I am. But, um. Yeah, they just they kind of take on a life of their yeah. own. Really established thespians will talk about the characters they play kind of having their own consciousness a bit. Like Patrick Stewart and talking about Picard by season seven, who was oh just my like this God, different person. Oh god, even Real Me has got a simp in here. Thanks so much, my boy. Oh my god. Uh, comic compilations feature the same voice action streams. Why? Yes, because it's just the two of us, and uh, there's all no all the same channel. There is no one else in the universe who could uh, be on the same level as making stuff up uh, nah. as we are. You know, I nah. feel like with somebody else, you'd have to. Well, I've, I was literally there the moment you were born. Yeah. No, no one else could possibly know anybody longer than I've known you. I've known you every second of your life. Yeah. I was there in the room. I don't remember it. <laughs> No, somehow. <laughs> how old are the voice actors? Old. <laughs> how how young are the voice actors? <laughs> 27. Uh, I'm 21, almost 22 in June. W seems no because anything with like footage on TV shows and games it just well the games not so much. Games no, games but are fine. T television shows they'll just get taken down. Yeah, they won't, they won't let you do it. Now that Sally is here, will you dub any Shad Alley comics? If you can find If anybody any... knows any good quality ones, sure, but I've, I was not aware that was a ship. I'm going to be totally honest. Uh, inspired to make this channel, uh, why'd you choose the name? I chose the name because it's a play on, like, uh, Super Mario Brothers. But, but it's hedgehogs. Yeah, that was that was kind of my Yeah, it was joke, really uh, simple. It was really basic, actually. It's, super Ex boring it's exactly you, it? what you think it is. It's, oh, it's like a Mario reference, but it's hedgehogs. Uh, inspired me to make the channel was that you were out of a job and I'm like you, you're doing voice acting yeah. freelance and I'm like J just give it a go because I saw what Tales and Sonic Pals was doing and other plush I saw all these plushy videos were getting so many views I'm like well I can't do the plushy videos because they're going to get marked as for kids so I don't know how we got around to doing the comics thing and it just stuck Um, just because that because I talked myself around to oh well you know what uh, I'm, I'm kind of getting set up uh, more set up for doing voiceover freelancing I'll do these comic dubs because it's just something to say, and that way it's practice for, you know, doing script work. Thank you, Dr. Egg. My mother's beauty doesn't follow the concept of time. Oh my god, thank you so much. I can't believe how I have become mother. It started out as voice acting pro practice, really. Yeah. Mother is mothering. I'm owning it now. It's mine. My question is, what has inspired you to make the Sonic the Hedgehog comic dubs on YouTube? Kind of covered that. Um, yeah, I don't know why I saved that question as well as the other one, to be honest. It's no. not the same thing. Oh, well. Congrats in advance. What Look at that you username. Look at that username. Crap. Crap hole. Yeah, that's me. He's owning it. That's, a, that's, oh my that's God. great. What got you guys into Sonic? Kind of covered that. What inspired you to start voice acting? My God. You've been doing little voices for characters, for like your toys, since you were three. Yeah, about three. And I'm actually looking right now at a toy that is a really ancient toy. It's one of our mum's old ones. And you picked it out when you were three, and you decided this little plushy owl was called Owly, and he had a flying school, and that was the game. It was Owly's Flying School, and he'd teach random animals how to fly, and he had a little special voice that uh, you'd do. Yeah. And that, that's, that's where it all started when you were three. And he was really, really characterful, too. Yeah, so all these little cuddly toys, stuffed animals, uh, would have different voices, and that's where it started. Yeah. Like, three Owly, years old. Owly was kind of neurotic and he had a little bit of a like a supremacist thing about being a, a bird and you know teaching animals who didn't already know how to fly how to fly it, it, oh wait 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 that's a kofi oh, oh 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 
Oh, that it, we're gonna have to wait for it to come up in the chat. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, Badger, it's, it's your boy Jet. Who's your favorite guy in the Sonic franchise, and why is it me? Oh my God, it's like your character Jet is like the, it's so bad it's good kind of character. Hey, Badgers, it's your boy Jet. Who's your favorite guy in the Sonic franchise, and why is it me? Nailed it. Nailed it. Uh. Ray and I have the channel. Okay, this one I wanted to add because it's like really important. I'm yeah, main, this I'm is like, like kind of the main mod here, so yeah. I'll answer this. Go ahead. The way to be added into the channel is not an exact science, but I will say that some folks are more involved in it because they're just they kind of get the game better. Some people come into it thinking that they can tell us how the story goes, right? But they can't because if everybody's telling me how the story goes, there is no story. It's a mosh pit then. So basically, people like Lanolin and Tangle and Rusty are just really good at following the cues I'm putting out. I basically, I put this in the rules since that you just have to follow kind of what I'm laying down yeah. and never ever tell me how the story's going. This isn't me trying to be an ass about it. No, it's just because it devolves so fast if we don't try and avoid self-contradiction as much as we can. Exactly, exactly. So I have to try and keep it that this is my universe and I'm letting other people live in it. Otherwise, it's going to turn to chaos and it will unfortunately ruin the whole game for everybody. Thank you so much, CC Turles. Uh, what kind of mic do you guys use? Grab to 100k. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, you're better to answer that. This is an S Mic 2 by a company called Deity. It's uh, it's very, very good for the price. I would recommend it to literally anyone who wants to do voiceover. Thank you. So Carol from HR's first dono. A round of applause for Carol there. Amazing. Thank that, you, Carol. The, <laughs> see, this is what I mean. Carol coming in here, making an account on a character we made up, following the story along and adding to it. That's yeah. the kind of thing. It's just being sensitive to what's going on, not thinking to yourself, this should happen. Basically listening and thinking what's going to add to the story. Yeah. It, it's kind of little additional bits based on something that's yeah, already going on. But yeah, the fun fact on. actually run by Lanolin, yeah, because Lanolin has been here since a very early time. Super the OG. And they've always known kind of what i'm laying down just naturally and folks like that made me not write down rules because i was under the impression everybody got it but not everybody did and that's not yeah. a criticism because it is this is nuts this is the craziest thing anybody there's could ever nothing watch. like it and some people just get the craziness yeah and some people need a bit of explanation so it's it's in the description of each stream now kind of the rules of the game Basically, you know, it's it's kind of like Dungeons and Dragons. It's hard to explain what the rules are, but once you get them, you you get them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I just want to I say this one in particular because I want to let everyone know that no one's being excluded. It's just a matter of getting the game and not trying to tell yeah. me what to do. Um, in terms of what characters do get, kind of a visual appearance on a stream. Um, first of all, someone does end up having to kind of uh, sub the cost of, of getting a visual for a character. That's hence the donating system to get people uh, on the Also, we find it's a good way to gauge interest. Yeah, because if no one wants <clears throat> that badly, then it's not really that great an idea. Um, but OCs we make up and official and literally any official character from any uh, official license or licensed media is fine. Other people's OCs, no. probably not. No, because that's slippery slope. Okay, thank you, Andrew. I think you're in the chat right now. Uh, do you guys love the theme of Sonic and dating since we made it happen? Also, Shadow and Sally becoming a thing soon. Thoughts on Okay, this is obviously a bit before yeah. everything fell apart. <laughs> uh, yeah, Gamma gets the rules, whatever the badges decide. Thank you, baby. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> dating since we made it happen. Yeah, I mean, I was a little girl who saw the Sonic Amy thing in Sonic X, so, I mean, come on. Of course I shipped it. I mean, they're blue and they're pink. They're the post World War II boy color and exactly. girl color. Exactly. Uh, and Shadow and Sally, I was not aware there was a ship. I've, I've said it again, and again. I did not know anybody shipped that because, no. I, no. well, I mean, she was Sonic's girlfriend, so I didn't really. <sighs> it, didn't, it did not occur to me because I thought the whole thing was just an Amy Sonic Sally love triangle. So it just kind of happened. I'm quite certain that a lot of the. Shadow X Sally stuff just arose from Shad Amy and Son Alley hatred. <laughs> green and pink always. I love green and pink together. Green and pink are my favorite colors in real life. My favorite together. I love like baby pink and pastel green. They're my favorite. It is quite goaded. Uh, oh, well, Andrew again. Uh, thanks so much. I don't know why I saved that one actually, but I've got another donor there. Child of the Moon? What the frick? What? Oh my god, thank you so much. 
No, wait, hold on. I've got to give you something special. Okay, who, who, do you, who do you want to show up? In order of freaking $100,000, here's $100. Thank you so much. Love what you're doing. So happy you guys going so much. First found your channel back when I was. Oh, man, the whole thing's not showing up. Can you open up Kofi? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just open up like a new tab. Well, let me do Thank you so much. I was not expecting that. That is so generous. I'm so glad that your, my, your channel, my channel, our channel, like, oh, cheers you up. I've been so happy, honestly. Um, oh, when I was in the hospital last year, you guys were a big help keeping me going back. Oh, Aww, my gosh. Oh, bless your heart. Thank you so much. Honestly, you, you're you a little ray of sunshine, child of the moon. We Thank love, you. We love what you've come up with as well with the oh Eggman thing. That is so brilliant. And you're working so well together with the Eggman role player. We, we thought here. you guys knew each other. That's how well it was going. Honestly, you're fantastic. Thank you so much. If there's anything special we could do, like if there's a special character you want, just let me know yeah. because that obviously covers it for if, anything. And I'm, yeah. I really hope you're doing better now from when you were in yeah. hospital as well. Thank you so much. Say the word. You know, love you um, oh, I love you too, child. Oh. I mean, you're, getting, you're getting a little spanner. Hold on a minute. I just, it's okay. You don't actually have to work as a moderator. It's just no. It's it's more. Honestly, the the chat doesn't need that much moderation. It's more like a little kind of. I mean, Rusty Bros slash Wave is on it. You know. Oh my god. <laughs> nah, sometimes the spanner is more just like a, a little special. Speaking indicator. of the devil, here's Wave. Thank you so much. Uh, hey guys, just want to say keep up the good work. All questions you think take on Wave for Petrosti. I think you're having way more fun with Wave because Wave's yeah. a little troll. And it really Rusty's shines through. I think you're having way more fun doing that. I, I think that shows. So obviously, you know, you keep doing you. You keep having fun. But honestly, yeah, you keep having doing what you want to do. But I, I like how you have. You, I can see the cheekiness coming through. Also, Eggman, thank you. Child of the Moon salute. Yeah, you guys work so well together. It's Absolutely. Great. Childerman, thank you so much. Just just let me know, now that you're blue, you've got the blue highlight, if there's anything I can do or we can do to uh, uh, yeah, cheer you up, you know? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> hey, just wondering on the Discord, I created a second account, Shadow Android, for roleplay purposes. Is that fine? Would you prefer oh, no, to do it? No, that's totally fine. Oh my god, Comic Fan 13, we just thought maybe that was, that was someone impersonating you. No, that, <laughs> oh my god. No, I'm glad to know that's you, Comic Fan. That's Th absolutely that's fine. Have at it. I just yeah. wanted to know that that was you and not somebody pretending to be you. Okay, that's all cool okay, now. That's awesome. Um, yeah, we, we absolutely love roleplay accounts, especially if it's something like a shadow android where it's in keeping, it's in universe, but you can basically do whatever you want with it because it's not going to contradict anything. It's like just, it's as good as a random Sonic NPC. Oh, I remember the good era of Go Getter. I remember the era of Go, Go Getter. Getter. That was me being an absolute muppet. That's what that was. Because because uh, I was always playing FNAF and I wasn't reading the chat at the time. You were reading the chat. I'm on so a stupid. Phone. I didn't even know. I'm like Go Getter. I don't know why. Surely it would be Go Getter. There's not a double T. I'm a freaking idiot. That's the problem. So well, sometimes people spell things weird. Yeah, but it just made Amy seem like an idiot because of me being stupid in real life, which is the funniest thing it ever. All, it all hinged on me just taking one glance over at the, at the phone screen and realizing, oh my god, that's Gogeta from Dragon Ball. I didn't even know. Uh, also, Amy Rose, see you nervous about voice acting there in public. You just got to do it. You've just got to do it. It's it's nervous making. You have just got to do it. Yeah. Um, if your desire for attention and your showmanship takes over, uh, then you can do basically anything. And you just people make fun of you? Yep. And? Yeah. Pe people will make fun of you if you do creative stuff. They will. Oh, Gamma's a member of whole month. Thank you. Congratulations, 100k. Thank you so Love the energy the streams have. Keep being awesome. Thank you so much, Thank bro. you. That's great. Thank you so much. You guys are great. Okay. What gets you out of bed in the morning? What is that little voice of motivation that keeps telling you no matter what life throws at me, I can handle it? Is it a core belief? Someone that inspires you? The pursuit of some goal or something else entirely? Okay, you go ahead and answer that. If you okay. Want to go first. Um, go, first. go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, also... Nice soul. Amy voice does not hurt me. It's actually very natural. I can just... Some people are good at being high-pitched. Um, get us out of bed in the morning. I mean... It's it's knowing that there's people and something to do. I think it's having a purpose and whatever that purpose. It doesn't have to be, I'm going to change the world. I'm going to be a big deal. It's just a matter of finding something, just a goal. I think that's oh, the most yeah. important advice I could possibly have for anybody, especially if you're having a hard time, is to have a goal. Even if it's something really small, you're not doing that well, something really small, like get out, make something to eat and wash yourself. Even if that's all you can manage in a day, if you're not feeling that great, have some goals and just do that one thing and we will feel better. If you just keep setting goals, even if they're yeah. small, it does not have to be changing the world. No, I, I think a lot of people kind of 
overestimate what is required of them for just life. And I will say what keeps you going, even though it can be struggles, I think sometimes it's the struggle that makes you think, uh, uh, in my case anyway, is if you have struggled through anything, is really, I'm not going to let it get me down or anything like that. There's nothing that will ever get me down. Everything that ever comes my way, I will be strong. Yeah, you just, uh, you just call it keep living, man. L-I-V-I-N. Thank you so much, Graylin. <laughs> right, next question. Do you guys have favorite game franchises aside from Sonic? I'm not really much of a gamer, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I really, really love the Bungie Halo games. And, I knew you were going to say that. Um, I love Doom as well. I've played... I, I played, like, the old original Doom, 1993 Doom. Um, I love the modern Doom games as well. Well, I haven't played the expansions for Doom Eternal yet. Don't um, get him start on Doom. Don't get him start no, on I, Doom. I, I'm, I'm stopping there. I'm stopping there. I love Doom and Halo. Well, we're never going to get off it. I'm never going to get off it. Hey, go get us in the chat. Go hey, get us. Oh, my God. What is your fave character to voice in your videos? And what is your fave ship? Uh, okay. Mother, obviously. Favorite character to voice. Um, in, the, in the videos, Eggman hardly ever appears. I really, really like Knuckles, actually. He's funny. Favorite ship. I mean, as I was going to go back to the little girl, Sonic name. But honestly... They're so basic, these ships, but the ones from based on the games. There's so little interaction of any characters that I feel you can basically ship anything. Yeah. They're all kind of cute. There's a reason why Sonic is shipped with literally every character. It's because if the colors work, then it, that's good enough, honestly. Scourge, thank you so much. Love the content if you get rejected 24-7. I mean, come on, you're going to have to Look, be. It's way funnier than the You chose way. this life. You're role-playing Scourge the Hedgehog. Yeah, come on, you, got, you love it. You know you love it. Sonado is my favorite ship. I don't hate Sonado, Mammoth. I don't, it's, it's not I don't, bad. I don't actively ship it, but no. I don't hate it. It's not bad. I just... It's, it's kind of whatever for me. Yeah, in all seriousness, Mammoth, I, I'm i like, yeah, why not? Yeah, uh, sure. Any, Basically any Sonic ship is just kind of like, okay, sure. Because the whole point of Sonic's character for the years was, oh, he meets a new character and he befriends them. So Thank anyone you, could Andrew, be a ship Thank you, Andrew. First, and on Kofi. Thank you so much. We actually get... More of the money on Kofi, especially on the higher donations, on the lower ones. The like difference under five dollars, it doesn't matter so much. Yeah, difference is pretty. Yeah, I just want to clear. There. Like under five dollars, it kind of doesn't make much of a difference. Although I do like to see the support on Kofi because for bigger donations, we get a huge amount more of it. A lot of the money, like thirty percent of the money, on YouTube goes to YouTube, which yeah. is. Then when so you get into fair, like the it? eighty and above area, anyway, it's like back to the donor, back to the donor. Kofi, Thank but... you so much, Andrew. Hey, badges first, on Kofi. I like the dancing badges on the screen. Shout out to Diamond Cutters. Hey guys, thank you so much. The the little badges, I think, add a lot. I think they add a lot. Yeah. Found that GIF online. Um, okay. Yeah. Favorite content you made so far? Okay. I've been making these streams. The stream, the streams are the best <laughs> it's thing. It's so much more fun. Second I'm best. I'm making this, the, the series is fun Sonic well, Future is series. like second best, but the live streams are really, really entertaining because it's so new. It's so fresh. It's like nothing else... You know? Yeah, thank you, Charles. I mean, I really appreciate you switching over there. I know it's like a little more of a hassle, but it's just like YouTube gets enough money, right? I mean, they're already You're totally right. they're already getting all the traffic and the ad revenue uh, that they that they favorite content is Sonic on. 06 abridged. I hope you watched that Star Sims. I hope you watched every second of that shit. Anybody who hasn't watched Sonic 06 abridged, you should find it on our channel after we end this live stream, and you should watch it. My cracked out brain, baby. He did. Dope. Oh my god. Favorite joke from the streams. That stream was. Uh, Rouge and Knuckles. That stream of Rouge and Knuckles. Knuckles, are, Knuckles flicks on to the next question. And That's this the most is popular after he'd be one. accused of being gay yeah. uh, by the chat, and he he was freaking out because he was kind of penned into this politically correct corner. He didn't want to say anything offensive, but he wanted to make it clear he was straight. Yeah, it was Hilar so funny. Absolutely loved it. Thanks so much. Yeah, I just want to say that for smaller donations, it kind of doesn't make much of a difference. Under $5, I will say, it doesn't make much of a difference. But above that, yeah, it, it does make a difference. Oh, yeah. Um, and it does still come up on chat. We still read it all. Uh, and you just get a cool little ding sound effect. You do get one. a sound you effect. You get a cool ding. You get a sound effect. Also, it's not mixed in with the general chat, which means it will show up on the screen for longer if it's uh, like a busy period with lots of chats. Yes, yeah, very true, actually. Flying through. Very true, actually. Like, you can have your chat, your super chat fly straight off the screen Thank you really so much quickly. for joining the club. Shard the Metal. Ultra Hedgehog, bro. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Cockle sings YMCA. That was also iconic. Oh my god, yeah. But at that point, it's like it, it had already happened. But at that first one where it came out, I, I still think about that. It was the funniest thing. 
Well, good luck, Amy Rose. I hope you get better soon. All right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh... Yeah, I, I, love to, I love it when I get to play... <laughs> I love it so awesome when I get to play dumb about the sound of all. It's so much fun. What have been some of your favorite channel moments? He, he knows who he is, this guy. He knows who he is. Oh, my God. You know who you are. You know. You know um... who you are. Um... Oh, that's another thing. Child Moon is totally right. There's no character limit as far as we know on Kofi. If there is, it's a lot larger. Yeah. So that's also a benefit. You can have a real, like, screen block of text. Yeah. Anyway, back to the question. Back to the question. Uh, favorite channel moments. We talked about a few of them. I, th I think we kind of just mentioned it. Yeah, we like. kind of ended up talking about that. But it's a very good question. It's a very it is. Question. It is a good one. We got onto it without even being asked. Um, Question of the owners. How do you guys react to Silver Plays you play on? Oh, it's it coming in the post. It's on its way. It's coming in the It post. is actually on its way. So I'm really excited to put that on the wall above the computer. What is your favorite Sonic Media writing-wise? Ooh. Does um, my own crap count? I think I think ours... If it has to be official or, like, officially licensed, um, then... I'll see you later, Yanny X. I'll see you later. Um, maybe... I'm not certain. I think when you get deep into the Sonic fandom, everyone probably has the experience of starting to prefer the Sonic characters as this pantheon of characters that you can... Um, it's almost like they're Greek gods at this point. They are like Greek gods. And if you know anything about uh, history with different deities like that, they kind of evolved well, over can, can I just answer the question seriously, though? Like yeah. so Sonic Boom, obviously. The quote obviously like, yeah, Sonic Boom, oh. the TV show. Come on. Question for the owners. Are you guys planning to make your VTube model? No, no we've got no is, VTubing plans that is at all. Oh, oh, that's Yanni X, he's the one leaving. Um, yeah, it's so expensive to do that. And more importantly, what we like to do is have like mucking about with lots of characters at once. And you can only do one character at a time on two separate microphones. We record on the same microphone. It would be a whole change to the yeah. system. And honestly, I think it would detract from what we do. Yeah. Um, basically, what I would never want to do is be kind of at the bottom of a higher rung of the ladder for quality. Right now, we're kind of, and that's this was important with Sonic Future as well, being kind of the best of a lower kind of class of, of detail for the content. Uh, what made you start to do streams? Your favorite song or band? Okay, that's a really good question, Rusty yes, thank you. slash Weave. Uh, so I had to do the streams. What happened was I wanted to do like gaming videos because I thought we needed to expand into that. And then it took me forever to edit a Five Nights at Freddy's one with Amy playing it. So I said, well, let's just live stream it instead. Um, yeah. And th then it just stuck and it turned into something totally different to gaming anyway. It's crazy stuff. It's crazy stuff. Uh, this also coincided with getting a beefy new computer, which is the IRL Chungus. Uh, favorite song or band? Ooh. My man Hosier, that's my husband. Oh um, yeah, yeah, he's great. I love him, and I have, I have some deeper cuts as well. Does anyone want to hear me ramble about music? Because I can ramble about music. I love listening to music; it's my favorite thing ever. You know, you know, Sweet Victory from that one SpongeBob episode. That was a great. That song. was freaking dope. Question: If you would have a Sonic character as your partner in crime, who would it be? Well, Rouge, because she's the best at crime. I mean, come on, guys, and thank you so much. Uh, hold on a second. Oh, it money. Thank Urban you so Urban. much. Uh, Digital Ooh, Viper, thank you! Congrats on the 100k again! Been so interesting and cool being a part of this community of people. Shout out to Star Sim, Rusty Slash Wave, Eggman, Cools Cooler, Tangle. I think there's probably more there's, to that. Yeah, hold on. Damn, we need to have the, we need to have the thing yeah, on. Yeah, I should, 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 have, should have done that. I should have done that. Refresh. I don't, I, refresh, boy, refresh. I, it's, 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 I'm doing it. I'm doing it's it. not refreshing. Uh, and who else? Rusty, Tangle, and Jet Slash Red Hood. Okay, the homies, okay. The, the mod homies. The mod homies. Uh, I'm sure I know I do like the Lord of the Rings soundtrack. I do. The soundtrack. I just not key in on like the films. It's a bit boring for me. That's all. No, the soundtrack's dope. Uh, did you guys expect for this channel to have gained the traction? It yes didn't... and no. I hoped for it. You can always hope, but no, I did not expect. I disallowed myself from getting my hopes up, so it was very unexpected. It certainly got a lot more traction a lot faster than I was uh, ever thought. Even, oh, God, yeah. Even my really optimistic hopes for it, it got a lot more traction faster than I thought, which was great, because last summer it just popped off crazy do you contact or meet other people who made sonic the hedgehog channels like speedy blue or god no Go and this is a good question they, no we haven't i don't know them we've never no. talked to each other and honestly i think they'd probably be scared of us yeah not in the sense that we're too important for them uh just in the sense that you know we're crazy yeah no we've 
we've never had a single interaction with any other Sonic YouTubers. Oh, here's a good question. Blaze, your regular voice. Uh, as you can, I don't know if you can hear, a lot of you are American, and Americans struggle to tell the difference. Um, I'm actually more northern, and Blaze is more received pronunciation, very clear enunciation, and a lot posher than I am myself. Blaze could be a telecaster for the BBC in the 60s. Because I thought it sounded more like a princess to speak like this. Uh, but no, obviously you can hear I'm not um, that well spoken. I'm not bad, but I'm not posh. No, I just. Um, and I am, in fact, northern. Yeah, you know, we're just kind of normalish. Um, so, yeah, we don't know any of these people. No, no. It would be great to pick their brains, just like talk about Sonic tubing. Everybody keeps saying I should make an ASMR channel. Everyone's like, oh, this character should make an ASMR channel. Everyone should make an. I, everyone's like, okay, cool. Thank you so much, you guys. I never really thought about that before. I don't really think my voice is very nice at all, so. Just, just keep watching more Super Hedgehog Bros. Uh, and and maybe someday we'll have yeah, the I, ASMR spin-off I've channel. never expected anyone to like my voice because I remember it, my first time making videos, it took me so long to get used to listening to it. I hated it. My question is, when you started to make videos on this channel, did you ever think you'd go from comic dubs to making your own Sonic lore and live no. streams? No. The live streams were so unexpected. <laughs> that one thing just led to another. Nothing was planned about that at all. But thank you so much, Nobody Rogers. Yeah. Sonic Future, that making our own like serialized show, that was more intentional because we always wanted to get towards doing our own stuff. Also, thank way. you, Tangle, for liking all those voices because of basically all of them. <laughs> Uh, Has the Sonic team ever reached out to you? Also, love the content, always good time. We, um, no. no, they haven't, and thank God for that, because honestly, they would have every right to sue us for the way we've bastardized mm. their characters. All the stuff I've done to them. I mean, if they saw that YMCA stream, I feel like the higher-ups at Sega might get kind of upset. They might God, get, yeah. like... Thankfully, we've had happens. no interaction with Sonic team or the Sega Sammy Corporation in any way. Let's for hope it stays the that way. live streams, do you script a general plot outline with beats to hit that is flexible enough for donations, or do you guys just improv the whole thing and see how it develops? Both. There? It just depends which one it is. For example, really uh, strictly planned out things like the birthday party and the wedding. That was much more on rails, and there were several paragraphs describing what was going to happen in those. But things like yesterday was a manic meeting um, Amy, that, that was very flexible. I mean, that ended up completely different from our vague plan anyway. The only thing that was kind of made it in from the plan was manic meets amy that was it yeah exactly and we just said that he obviously is gonna fancy it because it'd be so boring if they're just like oh you're really nice yeah you're a nice girlfriend for my brother let's be friends that'd be so boring <laughs> so boring so no i cannot allow that it has to have something because the rule is that everybody has to have something with everybody if, if they meet Everybody has to have a deal with somebody. They have to have beef. They have to have a crush on someone. They have yeah. to have something embarrassing. There has to be something. Okay, the only the only uh, exception to everyone having relationship drama is Whisper because uh, we do have some integrity, just like a little bit, and we weren't going to like defile the uh, women uh, loving women representation in Whisper and Tangle for cheap views. We were. <laughs> oh no, no, I wasn't going to. I was not prepared to do that because Tangle likes Whisper is life, and I won't. I won't have it that Whisper gets dragged into no. the heterosexual shipping scene when she's obviously a piece of fruit. I mean, it's basically, basically as close as you'll ever get to an official sapphic Sonic ship. We can't, we can't go. They gave a lesbian that. flag behind them. I mean, that made it through Sega higher ups. I don't, maybe the old guys in Japan don't know what a lesbian flag looks like. Maybe but, not, but it happened. But it anyway. made it in. <laughs> Congratulations! I'm so Thank proud of you, you guys. Thank you, Emma. And also the question for you guys, what is your favorite Sonic game theme song? That's such a good question. Um, I like I'm at Aldi. I'm at Aldi is good. I, I am, I am, I am all me. I am, I, I am, am at Aldi. Aldi. <laughs> um, yeah, that one's pretty dope. Um, but I also, I like the ones from Sonic Heroes. I know it's sounding really basic here, this, all the same game, but I do. Um, the Team Dark theme song from Sonic Heroes, great. That was that one's so underrated. Actually, the same the same folks did uh, a song for Shadow the Hedgehog for the neutral endings, and that was really good. But but let's be honest, Live and Learn is the best one, like objectively. Sorry, I don't care. Uh, what was your first intentions for this channel, and how did it transform to what it is now? I don't really know. One thing just led to another. We already answered the beginning idea. Yeah. Of the but what, how did it transform to what it is now? The streams, what happened was it naturally developed a bit of a story. What, why are Sonic and Amy streaming games? Well, okay, here's a story for okay, you. Okay, well, he's staying at uh, her parents' house for the holidays, and then he, because we kept streaming, oh, yeah, I guess he's just staying there after Thanksgiving as and well. It, yeah, it just became a whole story. 
Oh, hi, Pomatus. Welcome back. I think it might have been people's like me fault that the streams kicked off the way they did. Also, hello, people. No, oh, no, it was nah. not you. It was you not you. You kind of got things back on track a little bit. You were one of the main propensitors of, of Tales Tuesday. You're, you're actually one of the people who got us kind of back to where we started, not... Like, I always say Digital Viper is the very first gremlin, and I mean that with so much love. I love Digital, Digital Viper. Viper is an elite but Digital Viper is one I, I first called a gremlin, and that's why Tails calls you guys gremlins, because <laughs> Digital Viper was the original royal gremlin. Which Sonic game would you say We did that. I don't favorite? know why yeah. I saved some doubles. How did you feel when you made your first Sonic comic dub? You weren't there, actually. No, but I mean, my first one, I don't feel, I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. I'm like, how do, no. what should I do? Because all I could think of was the voices in Sonic X. I'm like, well, I don't sound like those voices. I could never make my voice sound like Rouge's VA in that. She sounds like she's much older than me. I couldn't do that. Her voice was fantastic. Maybe a little bit miscast since Rouge is supposed to be in the same age range as the rest of the cast, but she had a fantastic voice. Um, the first comic dub I ever did for Sonic was actually the uh, Gen Gen Z, Gen Alpha kind of one with Sonic. I had a cold. That's why he sounds different in that to anything else. And <laughs> saying how the chili dogs are bussing for real, for that real. That was so funny, that one. Did you expect to be in the position you are in right now when you started your channel? No. No. No, not no. at all. If I couldn't have imagined this. If you this. told me this time last year this is what we're doing, I wouldn't have believed it. I, I couldn't have conceived of this. Are we sure we're in the same age? That's the whole thing, comic fan. I decided <laughs> that, ha ha. No, I'm going to change it. She is not going to... She is clearly not a little girl, okay? Um, Rouge's story is a bit sad, to be honest. She was 17, but fans kept thirsting over, so they had to age up to make her <laughs> and make it legal. Ah. Okay. <gasps> I've heard that before. I've never actually seen a uh, a source for that claim. Can we get off this now? No. <laughs> Listen, I just thought it was funny that she looks and sounds way older than the rest of them, so I decided she should be my own age. Least favorite Sonic ship, Sonic X Tails. Sonic X Tails. Every time I see that. Um. Yeah. I turning hate that turning so Sonic into an incestuous pedophile is probably a pretty bad ship in most people's books. I'm gonna and be honest. And with that, we're moving on. Owner. When's the next Truth or Dare? I don't Ooh. know. Not for a while. Yeah. Maybe in May. My question is, what's the story making process is like? Which for the streams? For the streams. Ooh. I come to you and I say, this is what we're doing next. And I yeah. put it in a document. And I've got a... Guys, listen to this. I have several pages on a Google document of storylines coming up. And there's several really big ones. And that's why I have to close up the stuff with the Acorn Island. Because when I get back from holiday... We're kicking off some more stories. They're bigger and better than ever because this time I'm coming in with a plan from the beginning. So this time is going to be a lot more fun for everybody. It's not just going to be this random meandering saga about Princess Sally of all things, which turned into something so much bigger than I oh ever could have God. imagined. This time I have got full plans beginning to end and I think it's going to be a lot more satisfying that way. They're nuts. They're so good. And they are all mine. Um... But I think it's better that way because I don't know all the deep cut law that you do. So I come up with my own law with no influence, really. Yeah, no. But my main influence is I look at the characters and I think, what is his deal? I'm going to look at that design and I'm going to say, I think this is the story now. And that's how it works. Yeah, and you kind of vaguely know the universe in general for me. Oh, another ding. Thank you so oh much. My God. So Dick Leaper, thank you. I found uh, your comic let me, get me, let me get coffee up because it, it's longer than YouTube. So I, we weren't really expecting any donations, yeah, no, honestly. It, I found your comic dubs during a time last year where I was mourning the passing of my Aww. grandmother and was very depressed. Your dubs made me smile and brought a bit more light back into my life and kept me from a dark place. Thank you for all the amazing content. Thank you so much. Um, right, where's, I mean, where's my questions at? Where's my questions at? Uh... uh how do you feel now that you come this far? Very happy about it. Very, very happy about it. Uh, in real life, are they a couple? No, we're actually not. I'm really sorry nope. to disappoint anybody here. Uh, we're actually siblings. Uh, I know that might sound a little concerning, 
but nothing that ever happens is real. It's more like writing a story together. Yeah. If the characters ever kiss, I want to just confirm that is not real. That is, <laughs> that is me kissing my hand. That is me kissing my hand, okay? That's I mean, not real. Let, let's, let's just... I mean, especially like when there's three characters in the stream, like sometimes people will talk over characters kissing. <laughs> yeah, no. Just in case anybody was thinking it was that weird, mm. it's really not. I don't see it as being the characters. I see it as making no. a story with them. And yes, Styx is somewhere in Alaska right now, Tangle, poor dear. God knows what's happening to her. Um, thank God, because Silver and Fiona were wilding. Yeah, it's just that was just so. Funny. It's us. Ex if you if you're there, in the moment, it's the funniest thing ever. It's us. X the backs of our hands. I have stopped myself from laughing every time. You, you, you see me doing it. You just crack up. I see you in the corner of my eye, just dying. Thank uh, you so much. How does it feel Jet? to know I'm cooler than you? Also, when can I get on the show, this show, and get paid? Jet? If you're cooler than we are, we are in big trouble. Jesus. I mean, I guess we are kind of uh, by. By traditional normie standards, we are kind of uncool. We we sit around and make up stories about Sonic characters. We still didn't pick out Jet, though. No. Uh, when it, can you start? In, like, 3092? Mm, yeah, 3092. There's no rules against Jet appearing. It's just that... um. Lionel, and that sounds so dirty, that ship. I ain't mean it like that, baby. I ain't mean it like that. Yikes. <laughs> what inspired you to make the channel? We've talked about that. No, how do you, anybody know? You, you just have to go for it. You, nobody can know they're going to be successful unless they've got no. a ton of money behind them. Um, May I suggest you quit plays the best response in the stream? I love that. I don't have any memory of saying that, Tangle, but I love that quote anyway. So it's funny. It's about uh, Child of the Moon working for Eggman. I love it. I have no memory of it. Question for both. Are you both content with the content you guys make in the SHB YouTube channel? I mean, yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, right now, I, I like I like what we're doing. Unless you guys aren't, in which case I'm not. But if you guys are happy, I'm happy. Yeah, I, I like what we're doing. Congrats! Since when are you in the Sonic fandom? Since I was about seven? I've actually been in the fandom since like 2012. Yeah, what counts as being in the fandom? Being, Liking something? Being a crazy obsessive. Oh, I've never, I've never, I've never, I've never, I've never been in a fandom. <laughs> that means I've never been in the fandom. No, but you uh, are Cutest now. Sonic character? The cutest? Cream. Thank you, Scourge. Jet does not need to appear bad to the cool jet. Thank you. You get it. Thank you so you much. It. You get it. Um, Star Sims, we liked doing the Five Nights at Freddy's games until we didn't, which is why oh, Sonic, Sonic and Amy got sick of them because we got sick of them, okay? We got so sick of them. I still hate Thank you, Jet. How much do you pay each other and get paid? Okay, you can pay um £100,000 to get paid 1000 How about that? <laughs> Sound fair? I think this is a fair deal. Um... I'd accept that. Would you accept that? Yeah. How if about you, you had bitch, to... you take that deal? <laughs> if you had to choose between Tails or Amy in a video, who would you choose? Me? Who... Having them? Well, Amy every time. Yeah. I like to... That voice is easier for me to do, so it's kind of simple as that. Easy to do, and more people click on, on streams with Amy in them than Tails. Yeah. Oh, don't give me that unhappy face, Jet. Don't don't you start. Who's the best Sonic character? Mother, obviously. Obviously, yes. Duh. What exactly started you to try the comic dubs and I think we kind of yeah, we covered, covered that, that, but I think that's Gamma, so thank you, Gamma. Yeah, thank you. Uh, what's with Rouge and this baby okay, girl club of hers? Where did all that me. come from? Uh, it started with, in one of the comic dubs, like, I think it's Violet Madness? Mm-hmm. She's had a comic strip where Tails says to Knuckles, why does Rouge call you baby girl? And Knuckles won't answer. And I thought that was so funny that I just brought that in. She's going to say that in the streams now. Um, and with the mother thing, that's like a different thing. Ooh. That's because people call Taylor Swift mother and she thinks of herself as such a big deal that she's mother. Uh, Thank you, Night Fury. $10 donation from Night Fury Level 31. Thanks Congratulations so on over 100k th subs. Thank you. I love watching these streams every day. When did you come up with the idea for me. Badger U Corp? That was you. I came up with that because Silver would never, ever do these things to his friends. He would never make them meet people they didn't want to meet. He'd never force his friends to date people. He would never do that. But I would. So I made myself an OC. And you had to have one too. And I thought it was so funny if they were called Badger You. Because if you don't know, badgering someone. A badger is an animal. But to badger someone is also a verb. Meaning to bother and annoy them. Yes. And um, Badger U as in the letter U because a lot of corporations have the U thing at the end or an I. So I thought that was really quite clever and very few people picked up on that. Very few, very few. Um, I wasn't sure about the Badgers at first, but I came no, around you didn't on want it. I came around on it really, really quickly and 
It's been great. Also, Child of the Moon, I love that Rouge is the only one not turned down the job offer. The job offer thing is hilarious every time you come up with it. Hilarious. It's so funny. I love it. Uh, and comics interest you the most? Um, like longer ones, when yeah. it's a bit more to it, and when it's proper English. Yeah. Uh, English first language, we do have a preference for, just because it's more fluent. No Star Sim, not inspired by Wii U at all. It's just instead of putting like U, Y, O, U. Yeah. It's badgering, like, badgering the guys into doing things they don't want to do. <laughs> we are one of the like 15 people who still have a Wii U. Yeah. Um, three questions. Favorite Sonic game answered that. Favorite obscure character? Obscure character. Oh Zippy. My gosh. Better known as Barry by the fandom. Oh, yeah. Barry from. Best Sonic song. We can consider that for next one. Yeah. Oh. Oh! Oh, no, you clicked off it. No! I'm sorry. Zoom. It was like something like 50 or something. I think it was like 50. Sorry. Me, I suggested yeah. making the channel in the first place. Uh, simple as that. We've what new characters that. are you looking forward to voicing but haven't done it yet? Uh, I have a voice in mind for Tangle, and it's the same voice I do for Princess Daisy yeah. on the Mario channel we have. Yeah. Um, quite genuinely, quite genuinely, if anyone ever wanted Jet at all, um, I, I don't. I, no. As I you, don't want him. No. As you know, I do have a voice for Jet. Um, it's just that. Oh god, oh god, Jet is oh, Jet. Oh, I got the ding. Thank you so much. Oh I was god. not expecting this. Thank you, Jet. Can I get do 50, 80 dollars in co How about that? Gonna make you so much money on this stream. Uh, you, dude, I actually don't know what the joke is anymore. Do you mean, like, as Jet? Do you mean, I, 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 can you explain the joke now? I, th I, think, of... I think Jet wants Jet to be on the channel as is Jet. That, is that what we're talking about? Because yeah, I, think... I didn't know that's what was. You... I was joking about him as a human being. <laughs> no. I think he's talking about Jet the character appearing. Can you say me? I thought we were all out of character here, so sorry. I'm being dumb. Okay, no, no, no. He was talking about Jet. Okay. Jet, as uh, in. That's up to you to decide. He's your dude. Oh, I mean, yeah, I think, I think you know, look. If, oh, no, okay. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Listen. If, if you want. That little bastard, I guess, can appear. Yeah. I'm not making him a main character, though, mate. I'm, I'm going to okay. lay that one down. He's not going to be a main character. What you would need to understand is he would not be around a lot. He would be... Oh, the ding. Thank you so much, Loco Stick. Stumbled on your channel by chance a few months ago. I think we need to put the whole thing. I'm sorry, yeah. we've, got, we've got the thing up. We need to open up Kofi. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, let me just start. Bang, 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 bang. Hold on. Uh, here we go. Uh, I stumbled upon your channel by chance a few months ago. That's when I started to go on this binge on learning the Sonic lore, which began with Archie and trying to head to IDW. I started looking at Sonic comic dub funds, dubs, oh, as well dubs. as Son Alley, but there isn't a lot. I went through so... Maybe oh. they found the comet limit. I don't understand that, but thank you so much. I'm really glad you found the channel. I hope you didn't have some kind of uh, character limit messing you up there. Um... Uh, but yeah, Jet can come on. Uh, yeah, Jet Jet can come on, but he would be like a more minor character, like Whisper or Gold, just like these more... I, I cannot find a way to write him in as a main character. I'm going no. to be totally real. Like the, the gag would probably be he crashes a stream and thinks he's amazing and just takes over that one time. Yeah, probably that would be it. But yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, look, he can... Jet can... Jet can jet all over the place if he really wants to. Okay, we've already answered that. Uh, yeah. What are your guys' favorite and least favorite characters to voice? Favorite oh, to We've voice. already talked about the favorite, but least favorite. Least favorite to voice. I mean, Tails is probably a hard one for me to do, but the, the hardest one is Styx. Yeah, Styx is a What about you? One. The absolute hardest one for me. Um, le Not the hardest, but the least favorite. Specifically the least favorite. I'm just kind of ro running through it. Um, I th none, of, none of them. Oh, Charmy's really hard to do. So be, yeah. I don't, he's not. He's, he's not on streams. No, he's he's Vector not allowed let to come on streams. Vector doesn't let him. Uh, least favorite to voice. Oh, um, maybe, maybe Espio because uh, he's he's a little bit more reserved. Uh, Landlin voice. I've actually never considered it. I've actually never read no. the comics. I'm a fake fan. I only know about the comics through Osmosis. So I've never really. I'm not familiar that much with Landlin's character. And I've never thought about the voice. I just thought really cute if she sounded like Bellwether from Zootopia because she's a sheep as well. And she kind of sounded like a sheep. Uh, that was great casting. Tangle! Uh, Congratulations. Least favorite pairings. I think we talked about both of those. And you plan to go see the third Sonic movie on opening weekend. I feel like we might have to at this rate. Um, we run a Sonic channel. Also, uh, there was some convention thing for films stuff. And a trailer was shown. Apparently, 
some crazy stuff is in the trailer, like Sonic and Shadow fighting on Shadow's motorcycle in midair or something. <laughs> it's Fast and Furious. Unverified now. report, but it sounds like they're really going balls to the wall with it. Uh, how, how many, many people dubbed the Sonic characters? Just the two of us, yeah, Logan. Just the two. First of all, congratulations Thanks, on getting 100,000 subscribers. It's well earned and deserved. My question is, what has been your favorite stream so far and what has inspired we you? We answered the latter part of that question. Yeah. Favorite stream so far. Um, I mean, I'm quite proud of how we've managed to make different scene changes, like in the wedding one. Yeah. I thought it was a bit rocky because it's the first time doing it. The wedding one was a real technical, uh, tra a real kind of cutting edge for the the technical aspect of the stream. Yeah, so that one in that sense, because I didn't know it was possible, and then it was quite satisfying. Uh, and favorite stream, actually, in real life, is the one where Knuckles and Rouge are playing Would You Rather, because that was just a riot. Every laugh in that is me laughing oh for Oh my real. god, it was amazing. That's why Rouge has to have my actual laugh, because that was too funny. I made you get a voice act, and I think we talked about that. But voice act before you made the channel. Yes, we have actually done it uh, semi-professionally. Yeah, I've done yeah. semi, and you've done it more professionally. Actually, yeah, I've I've been acting. I've been a voice acting freelancer. I've done everything you can imagine, and probably a few things you can't imagine. Actually, a few <laughs> things you shouldn't imagine. Um, why Sonic specifically for the channel? Because I saw Tales and Sonic Pals and these plushy channels, and I'm like, huh, that's popular. Yeah, let's do that. And I I was you know everything Son about Sonic. I was I was a Sonic kid growing up. Yeah, so why the heck not? Do you plan to make some other types of content with Sonic characters? More like reactions, gameplay, Sonic videos, Google and DeviantArt videos, Sonic fan games, etc. Maybe. Maybe. We have experimented with little bits like that. Like, it's hard to get people interested in it, It's funny because people ask questions like this as if we've never done it. And we have. They yeah, just didn't it see it because oh the God, interest is Jet, low. Oh, done my it. God. I think done it. New $80 donation from Jet. Don't need to be a main character. I need to make a bunch of money from one of your streams. And I want... <laughs> I want you to know that despite the sheer number of girls that want me, oh hold on, let's, hold on. let's read the whole got? thing on coffee. Uh, despite the sheer number of girls that want me, I don't want them because they only slow me down. I mean, obviously, his obviously. whole thing is being an incel. We're well, not an incel exactly, if it's a voluntary celibate. Yeah, he, he's Sigma. He's voluntarily celibate. Oh my god. Jet. A ball cell. Okay, Jet is at currently at the back of a quite long queue but he will he will make it to the channel eventually <laughs> how much to have ray on island channel mighty it's it's kind of like the usual set prices but for, for two for characters, characters it has to more yeah um every individual character has to have that kind of set price behind them so yeah because they're just little animal characters i don't find them egregious i'd say it's like 80 dollars for both for each again each of them on kofi just to make that clear oh my goodness Another day. Three dollars. Thank you, Loco. Uh, continue. So many channels that I didn't see. Hang on a minute. Was... Hang on a minute. Okay. I think on. we're gonna read up the whole thing here. Uh, so many channels that I didn't see who. Uh, I, who time I thought you guys got to go first. Hell's Hunt all the same. Oh my god, live stream different channel base. Doing what you're doing now. Thank you so much. Show's play button. We haven't got it yet, but we will be showing it in a short when it comes in. Thank you so Absolutely much. Absolutely, we will. Mighty, please don't beg for people to donate money, though. Uh, that's still not it's, fair. It's, it's, it's totally personal. If How people spend their money on entertainment that they want to consume or entertainment they want to support, it's a very personal thing. Uh, we, we really always say... It's fine to like put feelers out. Yeah, I'm not telling if, you If you want to gauge interest, like Mammoth Mogul, he has like, gauged interest. Hey, who, does anyone think this would be like, a cool idea? We have had a couple of times people... Interest? It's all right, Mighty. I'm not trying to shame anybody. No, I'm just, no. I'm just letting you know. It's like... No, don't, don't feel so it's fine. No, it's fine. Don't it's worry chill. about it. It's Scourge off limits. Oh my god, I hate that character. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hate him. Okay. Scourge the Hedgehog. It's is... up to you. You'd be voicing him. Yeah. Okay. He is a really difficult one to think how he'd fit in because Scourge the Hedgehog is a very specific character for a specific setting. A lot of the Archie characters were very tied to the kind of story that those comics were. It was a very comic book trope kind of universe with lots of multiverse stuff. Uh, that's why some of them don't work well when you bring them out of the Archie universe. I'm sorry, I hate him so much. <laughs> I don't hate you. You're a great no, role player. No, you're a great role player. Like, you make Scourge way more lovable than ever. Um. Um. Okay. Also, I just want to point out that because I'll be away for the best part of two weeks, uh, everything's all the stories are going to be put in a queue for a while. So anybody who's donated for anything to happen. 
don't worry about it. It is going to happen. I'm oh, just yeah. not going to be in the country for Everything a while. Everything gets made a note of. It's just that some things are going to take a little while now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but Scourge, okay. You know what? Do we think the Scourge could appear? I need to make a plan before I can guarantee yeah. it. Um, and be, will... Honestly, if you pay for it now, it would be such a long queue. Yeah. Um, I would say sit on it, and if you sit on it, we will too, and we'll think about if yeah, we have just, an idea. Just for let him. me know if you're serious. If you're not serious, don't don't ever waste my time planning something. That's what I'll <laughs> okay. say. Uh, how do you not come up with? We just pick out popular ones and ones yeah. that look good. Simple as that. To the owners, do you guys plan things from the start or just go along with the donations making your stories? Both. What is your really? favorite moments from the stories you've done in stream? We've talked about that. Favorite moments, yeah. Uh, my favorite stories are the ones coming up. Oh god, yeah. Was almost there a time where you no. almost quit doing YouTube? Nope. I think Scourge would be hilarious. Thank you, Dr. Eggman. Okay, well, that's that's the feelers put out there. Okay, uh, there are there is there is public okay, support. Okay, listen, you could... You can donate for it to happen. I will just say, he's going to be put in a long queue at this it, point. It will be a test of delayed gratification. Uh, any any character appearances right yeah. now? It'll be... Yeah. Okay, so anything you pay for will happen. It's going to be put in a queue. Um, uh, why is Eggman. Eggman not allowed? If it's personal, then it's fine. Who said Eggman's not allowed? Who said Eggman's not allowed, Joker? Who said that? Who maybe, said maybe that? Maybe Eggman is allowed. Okay, let's just... Okay, where do you get the inspiration for all the voices you do? A lot of it is, like, figuring out how to make uh, the, uh, someone sound different to someone else. Um, yeah, I just, every time I'm thinking to myself, oh, God, how do they sound different? I'm one person. I'm running out of voices. So I think every time I'm thinking about pitch, if they're going to have a speech impediment and accent, and everything's a combination of that. Yeah. For example, Sonya's up here. It's almost like a speech impediment. Yeah. It's almost like it's up here. It's very adenoidal. Um, and it can get quite granular making a difference. Silver, he's, he's you know, he's... Obviously, he's a, a little bit stuttery, and he's very lacking in confidence and then manic is kind of like he dials back it's like trying to bring it back into the throat a little bit like the back of your mouth and one of them i feel like is not that great is the one for sally because she's really not that different to amy and she's also not that different to rouge because she's kind of between the two but i didn't want to give her a weird voice because her whole thing is being the straight man yeah um also because she has interact with rouge and interact with amy she's one of the few characters where she has kind of like um different modes where she has kind of like a mode of sounding a little bit more like amy if rouge is around a little bit more like rouge if amy's exactly. around exactly uh see pinch you know in the sonya voice i actually don't no i can do this all the time talking like this i'm kind of pinching things in the back of my nose as i'm talking yeah there's no specific pinching throats or noses we or... don't do anything funny like that no. i don't believe in doing that i don't think it's sustainable Favorite character voice, mother, obviously. Uh, ever since extending the cast with Sally, Fiona, uh, Sonia, Chark, and even Finn. Finn was so crazy to have on the channel. I never shout thought out Child of the Moon again for being the goat. Make I made that character up on the spot, voicing things as tales because I thought it would be funny, and then you made him real, and that was amazing. Yeah. And then the fact that they were right about him being Australian—that was just because oh god he has to sound different to everyone else like huh so oh, what if they were the right fact that everybody loves finn is just the funniest thing ever and it's a testament to your <laughs> acting and my, uh, my oc making ability <laughs> his whole thing is that he just gets what's going on immediately and that was just because so much was happening with sally and shadow that it had to be that he gets it immediately or we spend the whole stream recapping stuff that everyone already knows yeah my dude joker i'm so flattered you think we're using a voice modulator no this is just our voices i'm so no. flattered that you thought that had to be done with I, I, that's though. so cool that you think that we have some kind of um help with changing our voices uh favorite not sonic game i'm gonna be f uh, overcooked overcooked is I such love an amazing overcooked. game overcooked People miss Finn. Well, I guess he's got... Actually, no. No, we've I, got I, a great I, I idea. Came, I came up with an idea for him to come back. Don't worry about it. This he summer, will, he is coming back. He will He will come, he will come back eventually. Not a huge one, but a little a little st side story. You're going to yeah. like it. You're going to like it a lot. Uh, uh, what's the most difficult thing about running a Sonic-related channel and any advice for anyone who wants to... Dealing with the crazy Sonic people channel? and knowing what they want to watch. Yeah. Um, figuring out what people want uh, is is the biggest thing. And especially given the fact that general audiences and your hardcore fans in anything with entertainment will be different and they will want different things. So, um, 
you know, trying to get better views no, on yeah, videos. Yeah, it's trying to find out what people want. Yeah. Figuring out what people want. Uh... Fulfilled making YouTube videos, yeah. <sighs> more fulfilled than I was working at a call it's center. It's so much fun, and the streaming is even more fun. No hate to the service industry. I've I've oh, worked that on, grind cool myself. Comment. Thank you, Child of Moon. Uh, point I started to realize just two of you is when I started to notice very rare times uh, that like some of the Sonic and Silver dubs sound very similar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course, uh, Sonic and Silver. Yeah. Damn. Damn. I always think my voices sound like crazy similar to each other, though. In my head, all of my voices just so obviously sound like the same person. I think I'm really rubbish at this. No, no. But it's so flattered to think, to see that some people don't even realize it's all just me. Well, um, you know. If somebody really, really wanted Scarlet Rose to appear as a character, she could do. I think she's funnier as a background character. But if someone thought that OC of mine, a game, was interesting enough, I mean, then Finn yeah. Finn appeared so. If, if, if really you think want. it's interesting enough, I mean, to me, I think she's funnier yeah. off screen, but if somebody really wants to see her, yeah. Why OCs the hell not? we make up, if you really, really want uh, OCs that we make up and mention in the streams to appear, then it's fair game, absolutely. Uh, even if we don't quite understand the interest, uh, it's welcome. <laughs> yeah, no, it's always welcome. Um, who did you guys put most effort into the character, voice, artwork, etc.? And which character you guys enjoy the most? Between, by the way, you guys are incredible. Hope to see Thank more Sonic so Future. Sonic Future is always coming. I don't understand the art. We don't make the artwork, no. so I don't think they understood um, that. The hardest one, like who's gone who through the most iteration, the most development, who's been the hardest to nail hardest down? Hardest to nail down. That's Sonic, a really good question. Sonic was really difficult for me to get to a point where I feel like this is Sonic. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with him. He feels finalized. Uh, Sonic was the last character for me to feel he was finalized, you know? Um, yeah, I don't really know. I feel like Sally, probably. Yeah. Because she's, like, the most human. She's not just a cartoon character. She's more like a real person. Um, Star Sim, I think that's so cool that you show your, our channel to your friends. How do you explain it? How do you explain this crackpot channel to your friends? Because, honestly, that's so goated. And Digital Viper, taking a month to realize it was I was doing the voice on the streams. I love that. I'm so flattered. One month of the streams? I'm so flattered, honestly. You watched, like, 20 hours of live streams and then realized it was just the two of us? Uh, yeah, crazy. as Amy, I mentioned a lot about the sister because I figured making a lot of her character, why she's so needy for attention, why she's a little insecure, it all just maps so well to her having... Um, a more noteworthy sister. Yeah. Being the younger sibling of someone who gets more attention is rough for kids, and I think it's just a really funny way to develop her character, and it kind of makes a lot of sense of her kind of crazy behavior. How do you manage to maintain the character's personalities? I see that this is a struggle that some content creators have, which can result in mischaracterization and robotic characters, and I wanted to know how do you do this? Another thing, what care do you take with your voice? Are there any vocal exercises you do? We don't do any vocal exercises. That's more of a singing thing, uh, yeah, as far as no, I we can don't, tell. Yeah, no, we're not singers, so we and don't do that. it's not high volume. We don't do screaming and shouting, for the most part. No, that, that really is bad for you. Like, Dragon Ball Z shouting. Um, I, I Look into vocal exercises and warm-ups if you're going to do, like, really, really deep screaming for, like, three-hour voiceover sessions in a booth. That's yeah, crazy. That's, you but, probably shouldn't do that to yourself. But one hour of occasionally raising your voice while you're talking? Yeah. Uh, nah. If you do need to, like, hear your voice, we don't do that. That's all I'll say. Um, maintain her personalities. I, I, I feel like sometimes I'm failing to do that, but if you feel I am doing that, it's nothing I'm doing consciously. Uh, it's just, it's just trying to get into character. Like if you do any kind of acting, just trying to get into character, it's hard to explain, but. Uh, oh, Child of the Moon says your sonic voice is the voice in her head when she's reading comics. I love oh that. Oh my gosh. And Star that Sims is such a compliment. I love that you show it to your friends anyway, the channel, regardless of their reactions. That is so ghosted, honestly. I'm not being sarcastic. That's totally sincere. No. Um, and I, I do kind of understand to a certain degree the, oh my god, it's just Sonic stuff on YouTube, because maybe they don't understand that it's it's not like, it's not like, you know, YouTube kids stuff. It's it's very different. <laughs> uh, like, no hate to them, but Sonic and Amy Squad is obviously like for a younger audience. Yeah. Then our, our stuff is, like, pretty adult. <laughs> okay, I, I mark every single live stream, every single video on this channel as not made for kids. And, it and really I isn't. mean that. I And I mean that. I do not believe that people underneath the age of, like, 13 should be watching uh, content Underneath on 15, channel. to be honest. 
I mean, it is like 15 rated a lot of it, I would say. I feel like people get that. No, I don't think kids would even get it. You know what I mean? It's not, no. it's not very kid-friendly, in all honesty. It's not a kid-friendly Not story. kid-friendly. Sometimes it can be kid-friendly Not just in the content. sense that it's not appropriate, but also the fact that it's too complex. Yeah. The co- the, I was going to say the complexity of it and the language used and so many other things is like not kid-friendly. Not that it's not appropriate, just that it's not... A, it, it, they wouldn't get it. The swearing at the end of Sonic Future is very much to stop the thing getting t- made for kids, because you know how YouTube is with anything that's even vaguely animation e. Yeah, then we wouldn't have comments to look at. Also, Lamelin Tangle, I see you. Who did you think it was behind the curtain? I see what you're talking about there. Oh, Sorano. Nineteen K. Thank you so much. I wanted to say keep up the good work, guys. You guys filled a hole left by Tail Sonic Pals done wonderfully. Thank you so much. We literally started yeah. up when she left. It, it was the biggest coincidence ever. We didn't know they were leaving. So no. It's crazy. Favorite comic series, Archie Fleetway. I've IW, never read any. I'm sorry. Character. I'm a fake fan. <laughs> uh, I read all the. The Sonic IDW Archie art's run. best. The art's best in that. The IDW comics are objectively a way better product to buy uh, and, and read through than the Archie comics ever were. But I do actually have a soft spot for the Archie series because there's so much weird stuff in there. There's so much Gamma says stuff. my Rouge voice from replacing the official Rouge in their head. And that's Let so happen. cool. I love that. Let I will happen. say, I'm not going to say I'm the greatest voice actor ever, but I will say the current Rouge VA is not fitting. No. It's not fitting. It's not giving. I feel like even I'm giving more as an unprofessional voice actress with no acting training. I feel like I'm giving it better vibe than the official yeah. voice actress it's who's so she, miscast it's not that she's a bad voice actress another she's, ding like what? on an objective level with what she's doing with her voice it's perfectly fine thank you Tillers you can can vouch for the DBZ shouting claim you, you gotta, gotta come correct for that kind of stuff I did a lot of super boo for a while good pay though that's so cool I didn't that know you were a awesome. VA that's so awesome yeah Dragon Ball Z style anime shouting crazy stuff uh, top favorite Sonic game, we already answered that. Why do you post 10, 15, 20 Sonic in the future comics? Because people like them. Because people like them. They ask for more. And the reason it's multiples of five is because it sounds better and it looks better as a logo. Favorite female Sonic character, Rouge, obviously, though. Uh, how does it make you guys feel when all that you do brings happiness to a lot of people going through really tough times? I really times? love that because it makes a little more sense because it just sounds like such a crack job to have. And I don't even kill it. I consider it a job most of the time. Uh, um, it's, it's like, oh, that seems like a waste of time, but... It's not a waste of time for making people happy. No. Any, anything that makes people happy is not a waste of time. No, there's a great sense of community, and um, it's if it's entertainment, and entertainment is important to people. It's important to yeah. humanity. So you I know. love your ad as well, that gay meddling kid. If you're here, <laughs> that gay meddling kid, I love your username. Thank you so much for the support. I'm really glad to have yeah. changed you up because honestly, that means a lot. No, that that's that's the bo- that's probably the most Do humanly I, gratifying. The thing. verified Shadow the Hedgehog. The verified Actually, Shadow once the from Hedgehog. the Shadow the Hedgehog channel mentioned SHB. What did he say? What did he say? What did he say? The verify. I don't watch his videos. He's no. I, he's the guy who got popular doing those really, really sus comic dubs, like the really sus ones. Ooh. He he cut out the porn stuff. Yeah. Uh, he just he just cut out the porn if stuff. If you have to censor your comic to to put it on YouTube, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Another ding. Thank you so much. Oh, goodness. Thank you, Jet. Excluding Rouge, what side characters do you like the most? Of oh, the Ooh. ones we've done voices for, I assume you're asking about the ones we've done I mean, voices for. It's probably going to be one that we've done voices for, if anybody, really. Uh, for me, uh, Egg Girl. <laughs> Egg Girl was fantastic. If, if you know, you know, and I know you do know. I loved Egg Girl. Uh, side character. I think Big is a side character, and I really like Big. He's just a, he's such a nice yeah, guy. Yeah, I'd say he's classified as a, a side character. He is a side character. Is the Sonic Future fi- series five years after the mainline series or five years after the current live streams? It's supposed mainline to series. be five years after the mainline game's continuity, and it has nothing to do with the lives. Thank you so much. First Sonic show, Sonic X, because I was the right age to watch that as a little girl. I think I saw like reruns of Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic Underground when I was really little on, on, on TV. Because he's just a BB. Um, shows my favorite show is Sonic Boom. Favorite Sonic game Sonic Boom. Heroes. Yeah. Yeah. What is your favorite character to voice, and which one is the Dunna. worst? Done Who is your least favorite Sonic character? Least favorite Sonic character. God. Scourge. Jet. I don't know. The green guy. No, no, actually, my least favorite ca- Sonic character would be Jeffrey St. John from the Archie comics. That, I don't know him, but that he sounds the, so valid. He is the definition 
of characters who got too much screen time for no good reason. Sick. If you had to dub something besides Sonic, what would you dub? Uh, we'd, we've got another channel, uh, yeah. and it's, what's it called? Super Smash Dubs. Super Smash Dubs. So we're doing Nintendo stuff on there, because that seems like the natural way to progress I things. Okay. We might be doing Dragon Ball stuff on there. Egg Daughter where? Egg Daughter is here, daddy. <laughs> Oh my god, that's my freaking dad. You need to get out of my chat room, dad. I can't believe it. What the tits? Sonic? Dad, leave me alone. I'm with my friends. I, I'll leave you to your friends. Yeah, and don't, don't come back, okay? All right, I'll go. Yeah, sorry, it just, it just comes out. Oh, lots of Jeffrey hate. I love to see... Uh, Joffrey hate. I'm always in it for Joffrey hate. Isn't it Jeff? You hate Jeffrey. I, hate Jeffrey. I, I don't know. And you know what? I don't care. I don't care. I hate that skunk. Okay. I think that's the end of this. I yeah. think that's the end of this. Charles the Moon, if you're still here, let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Please. Discord DM. Coffee message. An email. Whatever. I would love to have, if you have any ideas at all, just let me know. I know you're very reasonable. You've never asked for anything too crack. I've loved all your ideas so far. You're great. We love you. Thank you so much. Hope you guys haven't had any issues with copyright claims. I remember a while ago there was a Tumblr post going around about you guys. Um, That's crazy. Um, oh, no, we weird. haven't. No. Um, if if anybody ever uh, wants something taken off the channel, then the quickest way to do that is to just email us and we'll do it. Just be like, hey, uh, I don't like this. Hey, yeah. I've, I've changed accounts. Can you credit this differently? Um... I don't like my old art. Can you take this off of YouTube? And we, we, we would just do it. <laughs> hey, by the way, I hate the voices you do. You guys suck. I don't... Yep, okay. Uh, yeah, we would just do it. The quickest and easiest way is to just send us a message about it. Thank you, Sorano. Is it Sorano? I don't know. I'm sorry. Thank you so much. Sonic Satayam was the first. So old. You know what? A lot of people here are older than you are, I think, my friend. Yeah. A lot of people here, you know, we're, we're all pushing a certain age now. But thank you so much for the donation. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything. Yeah. I think that's everything. Um, any last minute things? I've said my thing to Child's Moon. And yeah, Jet is now in the queue, unbelievably. That's exactly it, Lanolin. Um, also, I, I want to just say one thing about monetizing uh, art. And I think a lot of people don't understand this. Is that first of all, if you make anything on the internet, any website that's hosting it is making money somehow. Yeah. So if you post it on Tumblr, they're posting adverts on there anyway so tumblr is making money from it already tumblr also they have some kind of system where you like promote posts and you pay tumblr to try to try and make something go trending on tumblr uh, if you post on twitter there's adverts twitter's making money from your post you post a video yourself youtube's make even if you don't monetize your channel adverts will still run so i think a lot of that comes from a misunderstanding of how it works and also putting the blame on an individual instead of on a company and this is something that uh, particularly is annoying to me that people don't understand uh, when you see a small person, oh, they're making money from it, without actually realizing that people are making money anyway on a big company scale. I think there's a failing of a lot of people on the internet to understand how money is made and how it changes on the internet. That the moment you've posted something, it's not really yours anymore. But having said all that, if anybody just wants to say, take this down, I'm going to take it down. Not a singer, but I sung Can't Stop Laughing, catchy. I don't know what that is, Joke, but thank you so much for the donation. Yeah, thank you. I don't understand. I'm sorry, I'm being stupid. I don't, I don't get it. I still wonder why you guys still won't have special guests on your channel. It can be great to have other channels on the main channel and give anyone who has a voice a chance to speak as a character. Okay, well, I mean, the main thing is we don't know anyone else who does this. Uh, no. And I don't think that it's easy uh, with schedules lining up when we're in a different continent to most people who make YouTube stuff. I think, honestly, we're on our own weird kind of, uh, level. <laughs> uh, yeah, Lanolin, I mean, um, if, if you start getting to, like, music analogies, sampling music is a whole big story, uh, with how copyright works with that. <laughs> yeah, so no, I, I don't think it's a big deal. Personally, as someone who's posted a lot of stuff on the internet in the past, loads of stuff not on this channel, I have been a Productive content creator. Oh god, yeah. Um, I don't see any problem with it. Uh, but if yeah. anybody ever does, they can just let me know. 
Um, I love transformative work. I've put stuff on the internet and people have taken it and changed it and used it for other things. Yeah, that's it, um, Landolin. You get it. You get it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, honestly, I, I've i not seen anybody complaining, really. I think we've had one person say, yeah, I don't like this. You take it down. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Um, actually, I remember somebody said on a video, um, hey, can you take this down? And like within minutes, the video was deleted uh, because... It was, they just asked, and we did it. So there you go. That's your answer. And I think... Uh, it's not that deep, you know? If you just say, hey, can you take it down? We will. I think some, <laughs> some people just like drama. I think some yeah. people just like being dramatic. They're kind of bored. Um, if, if anybody... Uh, like This goes for like real-world drama. Like If you're in high school or university and somebody tries to kind of start something with you, just like remain calm. Um, and it'll probably just blow over because feeding trolls or kind of feeding Haters, into whatever. hate, it's, it's just not good. Anyway, any last questions, please? Because I'm going to wrap it up in a moment. I'm going to wrap it up in a moment. Well, uh, I, think we've, I think we've covered a lot of ground. I think I've answered basically everything. Favorite, favorite can to eat dr pepper obviously oh do i love dr pepper but but even better than dr pepper is bar brand dandelion and burdock i gotta stop drinking that stuff because i'm addicted to it cool. next stream is tomorrow and you're gonna see a listing for it in approximately half an hour yeah it, it's a good one you're gonna want to be there you're gonna want to be there is we still gonna have an egg mother on stream no. No, no egg mothers. Please no God, egg no. mothers. I don't Please. know how I would not know how to begin to do a voice for that. Was Amy screams in FNAF genuine? Yes. Oh, for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's weird cuz yeah, I found myself actually screaming but I somehow was still doing it in character. It's the strangest thing I can't describe it. Weirdest thing. Uh we don't break character for anything. Except for now. Uh but, yeah, but once once we're locked time. in, you know. I will see you in our next stream. Thank you so much. I just want to have one last thing. Anybody who's a member, I will be doing these approximately every month, maybe more frequently behind the scenes things for members only. Um, so yeah, yeah, this won't be the last time you see us if you're a member. Um, have Lumber Voice Egg Mother. Okay, you are doing a better job of convincing us uh, than than anyone else. <laughs> and thank you so much, Lionel. Uh, it's, I could say try hard to stay in character. It's not hard. It would have to, actually, for me, it would seem weirder to get out of character. Oh god, oh god, I... That would feel like breaking the universe's rules. I, 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 I could never do it. It makes my skin crawl, but the idea of a character stream down. and breaking character. My house could be burning down, and it would be Amy screaming about her, how her house is burning down, not me breaking character. Guarantee it. When I was in my production of Wizard of Oz, I kept struggling not to laugh at the witch. You guys stay in character perfectly for over an hour several times a week. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's, Sometimes, I don't know how we do it. like... Six or seven times a week. Also, thank you, Star Sims, because <laughs> Rouge's laugh is literally just mine. So thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Okay. Thank you all so much. Really Bye, appreciate everybody. you all. Bye.